As an introvert, I must say that having a YouTube strategy for marketing was really never in the cards when I first got started in my business over, oh, nearly eight years ago. (laughs) In fact, this was a recent development in 2022, actually. I've started doing video before that, but it was mostly screen share and I was timidly talking into a keyboard microphone on my laptop, so nothing to be proud of. (laughs) But over the years, making tutorial videos for my clients as needed and generally finding a love for teaching other people how to do shit that I find interesting, (laughs) I have realized that I actually enjoy this to a degree. I don't want to become the next TV anchor or (laughs) a reality show host, but I can certainly talk about my own stuff as long as I feel like somebody's actually going to watch it on the other side of the camera. (laughs) So because I've been doing this for the past year and I feel like I've got some actual tips and tricks to share with you that make this process just a tad bit more efficient, (laughs) because let's be real, this process takes time to both film the video, to edit the video, to transcribe the video, to rewrite that transcription and post it as a blog, because the two together are bombshell quality marketing efforts. You have YouTube, which is a worldwide reputable most popular, arguably, video search engine owned and run by Google. And then you obviously have Google, which is the most popular search engine. If you're showing up in both places with content that exists in the same area, but also spread between the two, you're able to be found in three places, YouTube, Google, and your website. You can't beat that. (laughs) Also, the YouTube strategy for the marketing effort or the return on investment that you put into their channel is far and away better than any other social media marketing platform because YouTube is not social media. So I feel like that was the best return on investment for my effort. And today I'm going to share with you all of the tips and tricks I have learned over the past year of doing YouTube videos that go alongside mostly (laughs) blog posts. Before I dive into those secrets, though, and the code snippet that goes with them, if we haven't met before, my name is Caitlin. I run Launch the Damn Thing. I am a Squarespace web designer and educator, and I love to talk about shit that I'm interested in, and I hope that you are here for the same reason. (laughs) And on that note, let's dive in. This is the recent post right here. My YouTube tech stack might surprise you (laughs) that I was just referring to that has the full list of tech that I have used throughout this process and you can jump to the spot where you're most interested. I'm giving you the price that I paid for it or the price that it is now uh, to the best of my knowledge and my experience, my mini review with all of it. So uh, have at that. That will be a gold mine if you're getting started with YouTube. Once you've recorded and edited and uploaded your videos to YouTube, The secret tip that is my favorite thing to share with people that are coming to YouTube new because this is a literal thing that I battled for actual months before I figured it out. (laughs) You don't come in here into your studio, into your content when even for stuff that's not public yet, right? This includes scheduled posts because I always schedule the upcoming YouTube post to post at a certain time and day of the week. And so while it's scheduled to still in draft, basically where nobody can see it, do not grab the share link <laughs> either this way or clicking here and grabbing the share link from here. Do not do that because... <laughs> For places like Squarespace, which require a video block to embed the video on the page, you're not going to be able to use the share link because this video link for the share is not available yet. It's not published. It's still in draft mode until it is actually published. So those platforms, Squarespace and the like, that use some sort of embed block with a a embeddable link like YouTube, it can't find the video. So it doesn't work. So my workaround had always been to post the blog first and then come back in as quickly as possible the day the the video went live, manually add it in after the fact. 
But of course, who wants to be waiting around for whatever ungodly hour of the morning <laughs> I post the video on YouTube to go ahead and also add it to the blog when it's finally published? That is not an efficient way to do things. And what I found was if you go to, even while the video is in draft or scheduled, you can go to share and click embed and grab the embed code. Now, before you get too far and hung up into that, what you actually wanna do is grab the whole code snippet that I'm including in the description below or linked in the description below because I actually found a way to make this code snippet responsive so that it will look like a real YouTube video block. It won't have the black bars. It won't look funky or be sized weirdly. Um, so I have the full responsive code that works with this code snippet. And if you embed the code snippet, then it doesn't matter if the video is published or not. And you can just go ahead and schedule your blog post to post at whatever time. The blog post and the video will both be available at the same time. So you can schedule it all at once and just know that it will work when it publishes on both ends. It's awesome. So that's my top tip for publishing the video along with your blog post at the same time without the hassle of editing things right when it goes live. Another tip that I have is to actually make a subscribe link to put inside of your blog post. To do that, you wanna grab your actual YouTube channel ID that can be your youtube.com slash at, your at handle, at YouTube handle, and then just add the following line after it, immediately following it. So question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. What that actually does is if you add that link, the whole piece to a graphic or a button or any kind on your website, all you have to do is click here and it will take you to your channel with a pop-up immediately. I did not do that. That was part of the link itself. So it will ask when they land on your page if they also want to subscribe, which of course they can choose to dismiss if they don't. Another popular tip that I have found really useful for not only myself, but also for my viewers is to create a new blog category specifically so that you can also categorize all the blog posts with videos into a single videos category if you want to. So essentially what I do is, but whenever I post a new blog post, if it has a video attached, whether it is YouTube or not, I will also add the category videos to it. That way my viewers can filter the blog posts down to that by itself if they want or down to the topic and just come across them. I also have in that same vein added a summary block at the top of my blog, which features all the posts that do have the videos category so that they can be cycled through that way as well. I've also added an area to my website for YouTube videos where I can also post the links to recent YouTube videos and those are loosely categorized in the same types of categories as my blog, but this gives them a more YouTube-like experience on my own website. So these are all good things to do if you have the time. <laughs> <laughs> These are all manual things to do when you are actually adding your content to your website. So if you don't have the manpower, like just focus on your blog. This was just a kind of a trial run to see how this actually works um, in practice for viewers. And if anybody gives a shit or if it's just me that thinks it might be useful, who knows? If you have a, an opinion on that, leave a comment below. I'd be curious if you only ever come here or if you tend to be a blog person you go directly to the blog or if you're a YouTuber and you only stay on the YouTube platform. <laughs> so with all of those tips, I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you would like to know more of my unpopular opinions regarding social media platforms and why I chose to stick with blogging and YouTube, <laughs> go check out this video. And if you're interested in what software I use or the tech tools that I use, take a look at the description below and grab the link to the blog post that lists all of that stuff so that you can get started on the right foot without spending an ass load because it's not worth that. Trust me, just get started with the tools that you have and you might be surprised how much you already have access to. 
All right, so that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> taken me a few years to learn the tips and tricks. The second I start talking is the second she starts jingling. Say hi. <laughs> Are you ruining mama's YouTube recording today? Yes. On the one hand, cats need jingly collars so that you know where they are in the house when they're up to no good. On the other hand, when they walk around the house jingling when you're trying to record a YouTube video, not so interesting. Not so helpful, huh? I know.